special. <laughs> it's a normal special. Well, it's not special because it's an I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here! Special. <laughs> but it is a normal through the key. I'll be going around celebrities' houses whilst our panel here in the studio will be guessing whose house I'm in. So without further ado, let's meet our studio panel. First of all, he's been on the radio since it was in black and white. It's Tony Blackburn! <laughs> <laughs> Next up, she invented the white bikini in the shower scenario. It's none other than Myling Class! <laughs> <laughs> then we have the also very sexy rodent that is Stacey Solomon! <laughs> sexy rodent! Jimmy, you don't exist! Introduce you don't exist. They don't know you're on yet. Sexy rodent. She once said to me whilst we were camping in a caravan, she said, Someone said that I look like a rat, and I went, Yes, a very sexy one. <laughs> and finally, it's my favourite hey. car, it's Jimmy Carr. Hey. Thanks very much. Tony Blackburn. Look at you in your leather jacket. You look like David Asseloff's dad. <laughs> <laughs> You was the original um, king of the jungle back in 1829. <laughs> when was 2000, 2002. 2002? I haven't changed. That, you haven't, there you are. Do you think that it's become more extreme, I'm a celebrity these days, and would you go back in the jungle if they asked well, you? Well, think? it is more extreme, but I was lucky because I'm a vegetarian, so I didn't have to eat all the things that you had to eat. So, what, 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 so what, hang on, you said was... I won't eat kangaroo anus on moral grounds. <laughs> You're a genius. I would, I would Why doesn't everyone say that before they go in there? <laughs> I didn't know that was the rules. I would have been vegetarian for a few weeks. But you can wait to get your mouth around some kangaroo pig bits, couldn't you? <laughs> Mylene, you invented the white bikini in the jungle. Oh, wow. So there you are. And what a lovely line you have. <laughs> I very nearly didn't even have that bikini, cos just as... You're going to go naked? <laughs> I had a red bikini and I had this stripy bikini and the producer said it might strobe, you know, when you get like yeah. little funny effects. Yeah. So I just, on the way, ran into a shop and just gave him $30 for that bikini. If yeah. I'd have known the power of it, I would have given him like $100. Yeah. <laughs> Stacey Solobind. Yes. <laughs> you, you don't mind me calling you a sexy rodent because it were you who sort of said that to me. But I'll, I'll say this to Keith, he won't tell anyone. Yeah, I did feel like I could really confide in you about my rodent qualities. <laughs> 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 Well, I think if they make a live-action version of Ratatouille, you're a shoo-in. <laughs> so, so you have to take that? I don't no. mind. I think rodents are cute, so I'll take it and I'll embrace it and I will be a sexy rodent. Yeah, boy! <laughs> a panel, everyone! OK, we've met our panel. It's now time to go through our first keyhole. Look closely for the clues. Some of the clues aren't clues. The red earrings, some of the red earrings are clues. You won't know that the red earrings because there might be clues. And see if you can guess whose house it is as we go. Fruit keyhole! So I said to this new bird who's moved to the term, right, no-one can even understand a word that you're saying, babe. Next thing I know, I'm wearing a cheap glass of vino. Oh, my God, you got proper swill there, didn't you? Drop me out! <laughs> you ain't even from Essex, babe. Oh, no, I'm just in Essex because I'm doing fruit key all here. This is where the hormoner lives. When are you going to come and do my ass? I've done your ass. So I kept saying, he's got one of these, he's got one of these. I kept saying, got one, I kept saying your name. <laughs> I ain't got one, Keith. Well, who are you, then? I'm Bobby Norris from Towie. Well, well Towie's not a clue. <laughs> OK, let's go through the keyhole. I thought it was Gokwan. <laughs> As we enter the property, we're immediately struck by the open... ..by the open-plan kitchen folder slash dining room backslash living area. Complete with sophisticated monochrome forward slash and grey colour theme. There's also a truckload of alcoholic paraphernalia. There's a plethora of shot glasses. There's a novelty cocktail jar. And even this little candle here smells of booze. It smells nice. I like booze. I like a drink, mate. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm all right. I'm all right. Cut to somewhere else. Work, 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 work. It's to me, I be work, 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 work. 
make sure you get a post fitness filter on that, yeah? And put hashtag transformation Tuesday, hashtag Snapchat. Keith, okay. what are you doing? Oh, this is my social media manager. We're just doing some online presence. I don't have enough online presence, so we're doing some hashtag fitness stuff. Should we carry on with the VT? Hey, look at him, eh? I tell you what, Michael, I don't like your attitude. You don't make it easy for me to work with, you know. <laughs> you find me here in the minimalistic kitchen, where we can see there's some fake flowers in a vase and there's some jars with a tash on, which is funny, because this person likes to tash on, and that could be a clue. There's some more decorative concrete through it. Inside the cupboard, we find their own brand of low-calorie powdery shake things, which suggests this person likes to keep trim. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't we film me making, like, a green smoothie thing and put that online? That is a on. great idea. So the ingredients you'll need for Keith's smoothie are some avocado, just the healthy bit, the stone, pop that in there, <laughs> um, some fruit. Um, I'm using bananas, <laughs> some cherries, <laughs> and some strawberries. A gym membership, of course, put that in there. <laughs> smells nice. OK, let's, let's taste it. Join me here in the living room where there's a basket full of gossip magazines and a cupboard full of hidden mess which they didn't want us to show. There might be a distinct lack of books in the property, but there's a vast amount of bewirded wall philosophies on wall to make up for it. In fact, there's so many bewirded wall philosophies on wall, you could be mistaken for thinking that one of the great philosophers of our time lives here. <laughs> Here I am in the hallway, just outside the toilet, where our homeowner has put up a collage of photos. Here they are with Fern McCann, and that can be a clue. OK, let's infiltrate the toilets. <laughs> oh, man, what are you doing? Don't be reading war philosophy on the toilet. It's not a newspaper. Honestly. Wow, that's a long one. <laughs> Talk about the war philosophy, not the... <laughs> That's a long one too! What have you been eating? It's like a forest in there! It looks like Wind of the Willows! It's full of salad! <laughs> Cut back to me in this studio. You're gonna have to stab that one! Don't look at me! Wouldn't me! <laughs> okay, that was the first part of ET. We'll be going back to me in a minute. But first, for you guys at home and our studio audience, but not our panelists, don't turn around, otherwise it'll be defunct. This is what's out this. <laughs> That sound of the applause there is what you're looking for tonight. They're really going to help you along. And I'll also give you another clue. Not all of tonight's people have been in the jungle. Ah. But some of them might have. Ah. But what some a, of them a, might not have been. What a great clue. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just ask, what is everybody writing down? <laughs> <laughs> Realise it would be this official. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to throw some things out there, and everyone got their what pen and paper think, out. Who do you think it is? What are the clues? What have you picked I've up? I've got on? Gandhi. Oh, <laughs> you think he went round to Gandhi's flat? From the phone full of philosophical, philosophical um, quotes. That was the only person I could think of that would say such wonderful things. <laughs> okay, well let's <laughs> well let's guess then. Let's. I mean, let's get because I mean, if we get it early on, we'll be home. Is it Gandhi? <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid it's not. Oh. I think this person has been in the jungle. Oh, yeah. Hear that? They didn't do that when you suggested Gandhi, did they? No. <laughs> Is it a man? I saw my No, no, no. You said no. 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 It's a, that's a girl's flat. No, it's a girl's flat. <laughs> Jimmy, did you see any clothes? OK, so it's, it's Essex, but I, I don't think the person's from Essex. Because you were saying they've got a lot of followers, so is it... <laughs> Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> it's as good a guess as Gandhi. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> All right, so... So, it's, it's not Gandhi, it's not Jesus, it's a young girl... And they've got a fitness DVD, is the other thing That's a fitness DVD. Yeah. <laughs> They're on the right track. 
OK, let's go back through the keyhole. Here I am, situated in the bedroom, and the initial vibe uh, suggests that this person is a fan of mirrors. Just check out these bemirrored bongos, the bemirrored chair legs on chair, and the bemirrored actual mirror. All these bemirrored objects are perfect for that all-important sexy selfie. Hey, Matty, I need to do some sexy selfies for my online presence. They'll love that, my followers. Have you been in their wardrobe? Of course they have. Have you got some sexy clobber? You know it. Right, let's do a... Sexy montage and show me fun side, yeah? Nice one. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm nearly done. Got faces on it. I can feel you looking at me, no? <laughs> Come on, let's move on. Keith, could we move on to the next I one? I just right? said let's move on. You heard him. It doesn't matter how many likes did that smoothie post scale. Let's have a look. 12 likes and one comment, and one of those not bothered emoji faces. We've got to up our game, man. I tell you what, post some of those philosophy things on Twitter, yeah, they like that sort of stuff. Always be aware or unaware. I don't know, those sort of things. OK, here I am in the second bedroom, which has been converted into a walk-in wardrobe. It's like a jungle in here, there's so much clobber. Down here, there's some sexy swimwear, which would be perfect for impressing an ex on beach or on shore. Down here, there's a section of fake tans. Let's have a look. Oh! Oh, man, it's gone everywhere. Sorry about that. I'll just, I'll just wipe it on there. Probably shouldn't do that, Keith. How here, man, will you stop telling me what I should and what I shouldn't do? If I had a receipt for my day, I would take it back because you're ruining for me. <laughs> Let's have a quick recap and have a look at the clues. Pet, why I, tune. Our fit and healthy hormone has shown us how to party with her celebrity chums in this Essex pad, which may or may not be a clue. I'm, I'm sorry about earlier when I had a freak out. I, I don't know what came over me. It was probably the fake tan fumes. That's what normally happens to me. I got, you know, I go a bit crazy, I start getting angry and go all Geordie. And um, at least, you know, no one's going to see it. I'm glad no one filmed it. So let's just forget about it. Okay. Right. All that's left now is to ask who would have it. Sorry, Keith. You've got to see this. You feel me freak out. I was just saying, I'm glad no one saw it. Oh, it's gone viral. I've had over three million views. They're calling it king of Instagram. I'm the winner, yes! I have won the Instagram thing! I've won the internet, I've broke it! Got Quan, come and enjoy it, yes! Yes! I'm probably gonna get free stuff and everything! Woo! Yes! Oh, and I've been saying it outside like this. Back to you guys in studio. I won the internet! Cheers, Chin chin. It's a bit of fun, isn't it? It's a bit of fun, it's a bit of fun, isn't it? Well, she's, so, she's somebody that's won I'm a Celebrity, isn't she? <laughs> and I think she's in a, she was in another television show, Gogglebox. No. <laughs> I was, was on a roll. I, I was there a no. clue in the bikinis? You said that she can wear them on shore. Is that right? Oh. oh yeah. Is it Gandhi? <laughs> <laughs> Eileen, you know it is, don't you? I think I do. I, I didn't know if you were sort of eyeing me up because you want to take me out for a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Eileen, what are you saying? Do you think? I think I Vicky hope Patterson. so. Is it, is... We, we think it's Vicky Patterson. Welcome to uh, Through the Keyhole. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here! <laughs> Special. <laughs> How's it going? I'm really good, thank you. Thanks for letting us go in your gaff. It's a lovely place. Thank you very much. Have you not lived there long because it's so clean? I've got a very good cleaner. Um, but you do have a cupboard of shame, don't you? I can't Look at believe this. Is that where you put all the junk when we came round? Oh, I just shit it all in there. Oh, I dread to think what's in me. Well, like I went in there, don't worry, I went in there, I had a right roll around. Did you? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> any, any of you guys got a cupboard of shame? I've got a basement I'd rather people didn't know about. <laughs> 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 so you lived in Newcastle when you did Geordie Shaw. Correct. And then moved down to London after the jungle? Yes. 
Yes, because the jungle's really good for you, wasn't it? It kind of springboarded you. I mean, you're pretty much bang on. Um, I think everyone had seen a specific side of us when I did Geordie Shaw. And yeah. then, of course, I went on I'm a Celebrity. And I'm actually quite nice when I'm not really drunk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> What's the worst thing you ate in the jungle? I drank blended... Drank, then. Drank blended camel penis. Well, what, what does it taste... Not say chicken, but what does it taste like? Um, yeah. It's got a grainy quality to it. Oh, any of you guys eating any dicks? I mean, when I have camel penis... I don't blend it. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the way to prepare it. <laughs> I like rice and I mean, beans. Oh, did you, I'm sick of them. You like they rice are, and yeah, they're always going on about. Oh, it's rice. And, I loved it. <laughs> Absolutely loved it. What's the first thing you had when you got out? Because that's all you dream about. Rice and beans. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, Vicky, um, I think congratulations in order because you recently got engaged. <laughs> Woo! There he is. There he is. Well done. Thank Part you. Finding a guy. Um, so I've got your present also. It's oh, uh, through the keyhole um, engagement ring. Oh. Hey. Oh. oh, come put it on me. <laughs> what the hell? The ring. It's so canny. Right, which is the one? This one. There it is. <gasps> it fits. Oh, <laughs> 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 It looks. And uh, because you let us go through the keyhole, of course, you get the through the keyhole key ring. <laughs> Big <laughs> 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 everyone! <laughs> Join us after the break when we're going through the keyhole yet again! See you in a bit! <laughs> hey. I have a strong sense, actually, that the living room is this way. Oh, I do the poo! Oops, sorry. <laughs> The special through the keyhole. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here! <laughs> special! Now it's time to go around our next celebrity home. So let's go through the keyhole. Word, I've come to the Northern Riviera just outside Liverpool to the seaside town of Southport where I'll be going through keyhole of this sweet scouse house. Come on, let's get inside and snoop this coop. <laughs> So, as I guide myself through front door, I immediately come across this hallway, which isn't a large hallway, it isn't a small hallway, it's a medium-sized hallway. There's four doors that lead to different portals or worlds or the living room. And I have a strong sense that the living room is just through here, where they keep all their junk at, not the living room. I have a strong sense, actually, that the living room is this way. Oh, I'm doing a poo. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Actually, the living room is just through here, where the kitchen is. <laughs> living room's there. Let's pick up from top. Because I have a unique keyhole six sensibility, I'm going to take you directly through to the living room. Yeah, there's the living room. By am God. We'll get some lube on there, don't we? So here I am in the living room. Come on, let's move our mind, body and soul around it. This over here. There's a picture of Michael Jackson who looks like he's just having a fag break after a long day's moonwalking. <coughs> Shamon. <laughs> over here, the homeowner seems to have placed a lot of items in this corner. There's a wooden um, frying pan on the wall. There's a cabinet here which is packed to the tits with tat. And there's this oddly placed picture which begs the old age question what came first, the picture or the cabinet? I won't put it there. That's bad feng shui, isn't it? Is that fuck what's what it's called? Feng shui? You don't put it all there. You can spread it out, don't you? <laughs> so, as you can see, I've closed my eyes because I'm going to use my special keyhole sixth sense to tell me what room I'm in. Don't tell me where I am. <coughs> Oops, there's a cat. There's a cat. I'm sensing there's a cat in the room. There's definitely a cat in the room. So, I'm on some... There's definitely a table with some sort of barlage. It's a pool table. <laughs> I'm 
in the games room. <laughs> yeah, so here I am in the games room, which is evidently a man sanctuary. Let's have a look around and see what we can see. This homeowner has an array of red football fodder, and that could be a clue. There's also this television. Strange that just come on, isn't it? Very strange. Couldn't watch Tippy Point on that though, could you? And over here, there's a human-sized toaster. On the wall here, it's absolutely covered with depictions of the homeowner, and I can deduce that these are fan art done by fans, so obviously this person is dead famous. Oh, this one is on the wonk a little bit. Has anyone got a spirit guide level? Matt, you've got one, cos you're a part-time builder. Oh, that'll do, that's better, isn't it? Can I keep this? I'm going to keep this. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it Neville. Neville the Spirit Level. It's all right, yeah. <laughs> so where should we go next, Neville? He said somewhere else. Anyone else feel the chill coming to the room? You might want to shut the freezer door and put your trousers on, please. <laughs> this sounds like getting the EBG bees. I started getting sweaty legs. What's that? I'm just making some toast, Keith. What's that? My chicken jar freezer's ready. Who did that? Oh, uh, back to you guys in the studio! Get I'm getting out of here! <laughs> oh, spooky times. We'll be going back to the VT in a minute, but for you guys at home and our studio audience, but not our panellists, this is whose house it is. I'm going to make them appear behind you. Don't turn around. <laughs> there they are. Don't turn around. <laughs> Stacey! What is your initial observations? Oh, she's going to think it's Gandhi. <laughs> <laughs> I've only got Houdini, it could be Darren Brown, it could be Mystic Meg, that's all I've got going on in my hand. It could be any of those it, people. Well, it's not far off, some of those. I find it really difficult, when we're watching the VTs, spotting the clues, cos I'm fascinated by you. <laughs> cos you're nuts. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a scouser, yeah? Thank you, Liverpool. <laughs> well, there's only... It's a guy. It's a man. It's a man. It's a man. It's a man. <laughs> you just get lots of claps. It's a man. <laughs> <laughs> Can you talk oh, about... And he's not all mad. It's a sporting person. Well, it obviously it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> what was that full-size toaster thing? Can we talk about that? Yes, let, uh, well, I mean, a, a I, don't know if that booth. Has, I don't know if that is a clue. Was it a tanning booth? It, you it looked stand like he'd up made it himself. And get a tan. So it's a man, <laughs> um, someone obsessed with Liverpool that has a tanning booth uh, and he's not a sportsman. That's, that's what we know so far. Let's go back through the keyhole. Key. Key. Oh, sorry. I nearly got a heat stroke then, I think. Aww. And Neville, he's steamed up too. <laughs> anyway, I'm back in the room, the bedroom to be Pacific, where there's this, the strangest of all the strangest things in this strange house, a human-sized microwave to go with the human-sized toaster. OK, <laughs> let's peruse the clues. By window, there's lots of spiritual books suggesting a keen reader or even an author, perhaps. <laughs> ah! Ah! Now you've revealed them pulling it on fishing wire. <laughs> All this VT, we've been setting it up like, like it's a haunted house and people would have bought it. A waste of time, me carrying Neville the Spirit Guide now. Absolute waste of time. Have a quick clues recap. Our mysterious celebrity is a fan of tanning with a penchant for sorcery who will never walk alone. Well, unfortunately, we didn't experience any paranormal activity, but they rarely do, and that could be a clue. And as a gesture of goodwill, I've brought this picture from behind the cabinet downstairs. I'm just going to pop it there so they can enjoy it in bed, with just 20% of it hidden there. So, back to you guys in the studio. Hey, who would habitate in a house like this? I just want to show you something. 
uh, um, in rehearsal today. I genuinely made a cake in my pants when that first came up. Jimmy, I did. Well, this is the rehearsal. Watch this earlier today. <laughs> <laughs> Look, when I'm scared, I do this. <laughs> and then, because I was embarrassed, I went, oh, look at my feet. <laughs> Stacey, what clues did you pick up on? Picked up on the ghosts. <laughs> yeah. OK, yeah, that's it. I retire. You see, you... <laughs> Tony, what are you thinking? I've honestly, I've watched... Every single, you know, series episode of this, and I've so far never got any what anybody right. Yeah. Really? How come you came on the show then? <laughs> I think you know, don't you? I I think you know. I want you to get one right. What? Well, you also can't read. <laughs> so... <laughs> Derek Akora. That's correct. Yeah. The man who talks <laughs> to spooky ghosts is the famous spiritualist that is Derek Akora. We'll be talking to Derek after the break. Then we'll also be going to California for our last Through the Keyhole. See you in a bit. There's some spears for backstabbing if you're into that sort of thing. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to the Through the Keyhole. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here! Before the break, we popped round to Derek Akara's house. Our panellists correctly guessed it was Derek Akara. So, Derek Akara, the finest UK spiritualist, please come through the keyhole! <laughs> You, you, are, you are the finest UK medium. How does it feel to be the finest? Feels great if I am. You, you are, you are, you are the finest. Is your house haunted? No, it's not, Keith. I... What was that thing at the end, then? I don't know. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's... <laughs> it's not haunted, it never has been haunted. But what we do get is what we call visitation. That's totally different. Is it this is from red... social services? No. <laughs> <laughs> because that's a different thing. We've yeah, all had that's that. That's a different thing, yeah, really. Sure. Jimmy, do you believe in ghosts? Well, it's, a, it's actually easy to tell if your house is haunted. It isn't. <laughs> <laughs> you get the option to be a ghost. Yes. Do, can you just Hope, die and that's it? You, you can pass and not come back into this atmosphere. This is your Who choice. Who decides? You decide. You deci Would you come back as a ghost, my lady? And would um... you have that white bikini on? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really interesting. I want to talk about possession. Ooh, possession, yeah. is that real? Have you seen possession? Oh, absolutely. Have you been possessed? No, never. How, how do you get possessed, then? Well, when a spirit person decides to um, use you, the individual, as a host, and they come in, generally from the back area, in... <laughs> 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 Oh, Derek. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Derek, hang on. <laughs> What's been happening in that sauna? No, just... <laughs> what happens if you don't oh, want someone coming hanging. in the back area? <laughs> well, you just yeah. explained to Joe Swash that that's not what you signed up for. <laughs> this might sound a bit weird, but I don't believe in ghosts, but I've seen one. Yeah. That sounds weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell us, tell us, tell Just something that. hovering, you know, just hovering there and just suddenly disappear. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, I can't well, explain that, that's it. a spirit person who's in the atmosphere yeah. that hasn't actually made the decision to leave our just atmosphere. Just a spirit person, it's just not hovering about. <laughs> that's all it is. Is it, is it, or is he at a funny age? <laughs> <laughs> Derek, Derek, we've got to talk about your house. We've talked about ghosts all night. <laughs> um, the picture you have uh, behind your cabinet where you can only see, uh, like, 20% of it, really. Oh, yes. W wh wh why don't you just move it so you can appreciate the art, Derek? <laughs> yes. I don't know why we've not got round to change uh, Well, I'll tell you what. I saw that and I thought, look at that side there. You could put a wonderful 20% of another picture there. So I've got you a well, gift. I've got you a gift so, here. yeah. you <laughs> 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 I've got a, another gift for you. Okay. It's the through the keyhole keyring. There Yay. it is. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I'll talk all day about those. <laughs> yeah, Derek Akara, everyone! <laughs> thank 
very much. How interesting is Derek Ricardo? You can talk about it for hours, can't you? And well done on correctly guessing it was his house. Let's see if you can do just as well as we go through the keyhole <laughs> one final time, all the way to California. <gasps> you join me on the Californian coast where I'm living the keyhole dream. It's water wall fast. Sun, sea, sand, and celebs by the bucket load. Hi, can Hi. I take a selfie with you? Yeah, you can have a selfie. You are great in beaches. I'm great on beaches. In the movie Beaches. Who do, who do you think I am? Bette Midler, right? Cool. <laughs> Bette Midler. Oh, no, like Bette Midler, this is borderline racism. Just because we've both got ginger hair, I've got a beard, it's a woman. Bette Midler. This is useless, I've got to get myself more known in America. Anyway. I'm here to go fruit keel of this private beachside beauty, which has itself under surveillance, suggesting habitants that are no stranger to being on camera. Let's do this. I've had Mick Hucknall, but I've never had Bette Midler. Let's get inside. <laughs> Upon entry of this beach-fronted beach house, my VT spider sense is tingling and telling me that this place has the fun turned up to the max. Just check out the giant piece of kryptonite over here and the pool table where each pocket comes complete with its very own Bob Marley wig. There's some spears for backstabbing if you're into that sort of thing. Over here, televisual dreams have become a reality where this stonking 70 inch has been coupled with this very respectable 52 inch, facilitating dual screen watchability. Frab. Sorry, yeah. Uh, suggesting um, a young, fun um, habitant who likes game playing TV and crystals. Perhaps it's Billy Crystals, but I bet it's not because I wouldn't have just said the name. <laughs> Over here in this unusually narrow bookcase, there's a book that tells you how to be famous. I can't show you the cover because it's a big fat giveaway. Maybe this can help me break America. It says here that being part of a celebrity power couple might be a help, you know, like a Brangelina or Kim Ye or Baraka Shell. <laughs> All right. I need to get myself seen with a famous American. I think I'll give my agent a bell. Got a plan. It's Keith. I don't know, just get me a celebrity. Yeah, any celeb, not Bette Midler though, yeah? And, and, and make sure they're blonde with big hills. Yeah, boobs. Anyway, I've got to go because they've put to me in the open plan kitchen living area. And if I could describe this area in just four words, it would be light and or airy. Note the Big Brother style CCTV. And um, also there is tens of windows, which aren't very good if you want some privacy. And there's this wooden spatula, which is perfect for stirring things. And that could be a clue. Surprisingly, there's very little plastic in this gaff. There's a definite wooden feel to this abode. I'm only here in the office, where there's more than a couple of framed magazine covers suggesting they're no stranger to making magazine cover appearances. A bit like me, but here in America. Oh, that'll be me leggy blonde. Oh, I hope she's fit. Hello. I'll be your famous model from the 80s and 90s. What are you doing here? They told me you wanted to take a photo with me. Right, um, well, you're not the leggy blonde I was expecting, but I guess you'll do. Yeah, maybe being Gail raised me profile in America, for the, the pink dollar and all that. Yeah, cool. Yeah, come in. We'll have a cup of tea. Come on. Back to you guys in the studio. Right. Well, the bedroom's down this way. We'll go sit in there. <laughs> House it is. Uh, right now, I just want one word from your observations. Tony? American. American. <laughs> Mylene? Wooden. American wooden, Stacey? Fish human. 
fish human. Yeah, he lives by the sea and has to watch telly say, like say, this. Say that again. A fish human. Some kind of oh, fish, a fish human. Slash human. Are you thinking of a mermaid? Yeah, with eyes. It's not on the, the little side. mermaid's house. <laughs> it's a cartoon. American wooden mermaid. Bet Midler. <laughs> Bet Midler. Well, let's see if any of those um, words make any sense as we reveal whose house it is when we come back after the break. But for you guys at home, here's a few extra clues. I'll see you in three. <laughs> To the through the keyhole, I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here! <laughs> Special! <laughs> I'm really enjoying myself, but it feels a bit like I'm on a double date. Mylene and Tony are getting on brilliant. And <laughs> what? I just don't... We're having a great time! <laughs> Body language twice, just sort of. <laughs> <laughs> it does feel a bit like a double date this evening. It's like, oh. It's... Well, what do you mean, ah? Got... Oh, I'm not the rough end of the deal, you know. <laughs> 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 Before the break, we saw this beautiful um, beach front of an abode here. There it is. And your observations were American, wooden, mermaid <laughs> and Bette Midler. <laughs> um, let's see if any of those words make any sense as I reveal to our studio audience, but not you guys at home, so you can play along, you can tweet in and say, Is it Gandhi? It probably won't be Gandhi. <laughs> uh, um, so this is whose house it is. Don't turn around. For you guys at home, the screen behind the panellist was blurred just then, um, so you can play along. You excited? So I'm yeah! Back. OK, without further ado, let's go back through the keyhole. Now, this is working. I look like a pair of prats. Anyway, I've got to wrap this VT up, so I'll see you later, sweetie, yeah? OK. Get those pictures to the press, yeah? Nice one. See you in a bit. <laughs> Out here, located up Heidi High, we have the balcony area, which has great views of the hills of water, commonly known as waves on the water. <laughs> I've slipped into the bedroom of the homeowner's premises. And there's a couple of clues that are grabbing my attention, such as the dual pair of jackets, there's two pairs of flip-flops, the bifolding doors, the binary sinks, the view of the two hills, and this impressively high double bed. <laughs> which is perfect for a couple. Bite side up bed is an award for villainy, which in reality shows that they might have a fondness forward slash addiction for appearing in reality shows. Wordplay. Here on the stairway is a picture of the homeowner made out of Lego featuring impressive plastic facial construction, which ain't surprising. Kif, Kif, look, look. Our picture went viral. It's all over the internet. Ah! Oh. <laughs> right, that's it. I know what's gonna get us US coverage. I'm gonna have to do something drastic. You lot, call the press, meet me outside. Cheers, Fabio. Bye, Kif. Ladies and gentlemen, members of the steamed press, member of the press. Thanks for coming today. Um, I've got an announcement to make. After years of wrecking things in people's houses and giving out awesome clues, is, is I've decided to quit Fruit Keel. I'd like to say sorry to the viewers. Sorry. <laughs> um, and, and more specifically, sorry to the crew, who I'm sure will be devastated. And they were. As a means of thanks, I'd like to show you some of my best bits. Forward slash. Have a quick close recap. <sighs> <laughs> this beachfront house looks like it could be a villain's lair, but in reality, it's fit for a king and or queen of the small screen. Very confusing. I'm not actually quitting Fruit Keyhole. That was just a shameless publicity stunt. I think the crew are packing away already. They're going to be really depressed, so I'm going to go in there. I feel a bit bad, actually. I'm going to go in there and tell them the news that I'm staying. This is going to be a nice, nice bit of telly, this. <laughs> I 
still believe it? You've obviously already found out that I'm staying and you've thrown me a party! Yes, they love me! Yes! I love you guys! Yes! Look at them, they all love me! They love me! <laughs> yeah, they're a right nice team, they're a right nice team. OK, panellists. What did you make of that, Stacey? I got nothing from that other than does this person have four feet? Could be two people, though, couldn't it? Could be two people, if you think about it. <laughs> that probably makes more sense. I think they are a reality TV couple. Oh, where did you get that from, Miley? Uh, maybe all the reality TV awards that were dotted around the house. You <laughs> like Miss Marple, but fit, aren't you? <laughs> At one point, you called boobies uh, the hills, and you called waves the hills and you said there's a lovely view of these hills and it made me think maybe hills or the hills could be a clue that is brilliant mm. oh yeah oh yeah Stacey and Mylene are getting off it's of each like other. It's like a Brangelina thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I want to bite it, but you can't shout it out because it's going to tell me No, off. I won't. And it's, it's not a test you're allowed to say it. Oh good this is how most of my school years went. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yes yeah? Yes. Yeah. Yep, we've got it. We've got it. Thanks okay. to me. Yeah. That's all we've got time for. What is it then? <laughs> we got it. it. Just it? trust us, we got it. Move on. <laughs> yeah. Is it Heidi and Spencer Pratt? Yes. That is correct. It's reality couple mega stars Spencer Pratt and Heidi Montan. <laughs> Spencer is joining us um, via satellite live. There he is. Look at his happy face. It's a slight delay, so it might be a bit weird. <laughs> See? <laughs> Spencer, first of all, where's Heidi? She's having a baby. She's having a baby! <laughs> when Spencer and Heidi are on um, reality programmes, they're made out as the villains. Yeah. Uh, but I've met Spencer a couple of times <laughs> and he's a really nice guy. Are, are you still doing the villain act? It's not an act! It's not an act! He's a bastard! <laughs> We've got Mylene Class here. She was one of the presenters on the American version of I'm a Celebrity. Can you remember her? I do remember her. What was he like? Was he a you villain character? So the, the American version <laughs> was very, very different to the English version. I think they managed to get their agent on the phone and also managed to order a takeaway. <laughs> yeah, I definitely shut down that camp and demanded some good food. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know it's because of a time delay, <laughs> but, but you appear to be a simpleton. <laughs> I am! <laughs> Spencer, want to talk about your crystal rocks? Look, what's the most you've spent on a crystal rock? Uh, that one, 75,000 pounds. 75 oh. grand. Wow. Yeah. And in total, how much have you spent on rocks? <laughs> oh, easy a million. A million on stones and pebbles? <laughs> they got magical powers, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a grow your own Brad Pitt. <laughs> uh, I'll going, take it. Yeah. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> It's I'll take look. it. Yeah, 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 take it. <laughs> He's going to take, take it. He's going to take it. This is the most fun I've had in a long time. Yay! Thank you. Well, I've, I've got a little gift for the baby. I know you like crystals, so I've had this special pacifier made for you, which I'm going to pass through. <laughs> it's... <laughs> It's, it's, it's coming. That is your cue. <laughs> Take it! Take it! <laughs> and, of course, as thanks for letting me go through your beautiful home, it's a lovely place. There it is, the Through the Keyhole Key Ring. <laughs> beautiful. It's 
coming! <laughs> Many thanks. Spencer Pratt, everyone! Well, um, we've come to the end of the show, but because this is uh, I'm a Celebrity special, we are going to crown someone who we think has been the best panellist. We have um, a crown here and a pint of lager. This could really turn things around for me. <laughs> <laughs> the winner is... The original King of the Jungle is Tony Blapper! Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right to you. Oh, there's the fireworks. Yeah. What a celebration. <laughs> that would be fun! That's good. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of the show. What a journey it's been. Let's say thanks to our panellists. to the celebrities that kindly let us into their homes, but more specifically, their arts. I was Keith Lemon. If I don't see Fruit Week, I'll see Fruit Keel! <laughs>